this is Landon Ritchie from Design Visionaries, and in this video I'd like to show you the Move Edge command. Uh, Move Edge was added, I believe, in NX10 and above. Uh, it's a new feature within the synchronous modeling section. And what it does is it allows you to actually move just the edge alone on a part. Now, what I have here is a, a nice uh, polygon I've extruded from the sketcher. And I'm going to use the move edge to show you kind of some of the different things you can do with it. Uh, for instance, if you go into the more uh, drop down within synchronous modeling, you'll find move edge at the very bottom. There's also an offset edge, which allows you to offset just the edges of a face. So I will show you that after I show you move edge. So for move edge, you get a lot of the same uh, motion that you get in the move face. You have a distance angle, distance between points, radial distance, so it allows you a lot of uh, control over how you move the edges. Uh, so for the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the distance. And what I want to do is I want to move uh, just these edges down to cause this face to tilt at an angle. So I will go ahead and select the, and the, the edges have to be um, uh, one uh, singular connected, well, not singular, but it has to be a connected edge. You can't just, uh, you know, arbitrarily select two edges and then not have a connection. You'll see this little alert down here. They must form a single end connected chain. That's what I meant. Uh, so uh, I'm going to change the uh, vector. Well, actually, before I change the vector, I can move this out a little bit. And as you can see, it drastically changes the shape. I'm just moving the edge alone and it's changing the uh, shape of the uh, solid. Uh, but if I wanted to move, say, this direction, I can push this down, and it causes the, sh the uh, face above to squish downward. You'll even see there's kind of a, it even has this, like, slope. So it takes into account the, uh, how the face has to uh, reform to fill that area when you're moving the face around. Uh, another cool thing is um, it's a great way to make like a twisted um, rod. So if you were to select all the uh, top edges here, and I switch this to uh, angle, and we want to move it along here, and we want our axis point. So thing is, I need the axis point probably to be at the origin here, at the very center. And so now when I rotate, look at that, it twists. The shape around to create this really cool twisted uh, rod. You might have seen, you know, you might see these in um, rebar sometimes, or some other um, rods that have this like twisting effect when they're extruded. Um, and that's a great way to show that. Um, it, it's also great for making like a drill bit if you needed to. Um, it could be handy for all kinds of things. So again, that was a uh, move edge. So let me undo that, and I'll show you the offset edge. Offset edge, I can offset just the top area outward and make like a draft. So it, it's, it's kind of neat. It's an alternative way of making drafts. Um, I can offset it inward and squish it down, which is really cool. So again, this is the uh, move face or move edge and offset edge command. Uh, for more tips, tricks, and tutorials, please check us out at designvisionaries.com. And if you really want to learn how the inner workings of NX really work, you should check out our books at designvisionaries.com. We have several books on every version of NX available for purchase. Um, also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.